correspondent. Deborah, do you want to say a little bit about the upcoming election? I do. Thank you very much. Um, just information for our voters here in Cape Elizabeth, a reminder that the election is going to be held on Tuesday, November 6th. Residents of Cape Elizabeth vote at the high school gymnasium. The polls are open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. On election day, there will be signs directing you down in back of the high school where there will be plenty of parking. I wanted to take a minute to thank the superintendent of schools and the school board for their support of a student workshop on that day. That will allow, again, space outside for parking, and also it will provide us some inside space that we need for various election activities. I have also scheduled the use of the cafeteria. You may remember four years ago at the presidential, we had the cafeteria available to our Cape Elizabeth nonprofit groups for fundraising. And we actually had some groups there that talked to residents about um, their different organizations. So I'm very excited that the cafeteria will be available for that purpose. It allows, allows for more room, and it also allows for better flow for the voters in that lobby area between the cafeteria and um, the gymnasium. So if any of those groups, if you know that you want a table, please contact me. Um, I'm available here at Town Hall, either by phone or by email, and it will be first come, first serve. Um, and again, it worked very well four years ago. I'm excited that we can do that again. So again, thank you to the school um, for scheduling a student workshop on that day. In terms of voter registration, if you're not registered to vote, proof of identity and proof of residency is required. So if you have a driver's license with your CAPE address, that will satisfy both. Uh, if you are no longer a CAPE Elizabeth resident, I encourage you to go to your town or city hall and register to vote uh, so that you will be all set for the November election. Absentee balloting will be available during the month of October. We're actually going to be setting up this room here in the council chamber during our regular town hall office hours. The deadline to absentee ballot is Thursday, November 1st. So if you know now that you will not be available on the 6th, um, please make arrangements for your absentee ballot. If you go to our website at capeelizabeth.com, we do recap the voter registration laws, absentee laws, how to obtain an absentee ballot. Uh, we will also, as they are available, place the sample ballots not only for the municipal election, for council and school board. Uh, we also have the library issue and we have the uh, amendment to the charter. Um, those sample ballots along with the state and federal uh, candidates will also, and any state referenda will also be um, on our website. And I expect that information to be available um, in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, just two points of clarification, things that have come up the last couple of years that are kind of interesting is if you, again, live in Cape Elizabeth, you're registered to vote, you go to the polls, you can go straight to the incoming lines. Um, the last couple of years has been interesting. We've had a lot of folks that have been registered even for years get in the line of voter registration and think that they need to register again. Um, and that's not the case. If you still live here, you're registered here, please just go to your incoming lines. Um, also, there's um, interesting information out that voters somehow think that they cannot go to the polls anymore, that they have to vote absentee. Um, and that is not the case. If we actually have voters that call me and say, I really would like to go to the polls, why do I have to vote absentee? Absentee balloting is for convenience, um, particularly if you're not going to be here on election day. It, if you are a voter that wants to go to the polls, please do so. Uh, again, it's at the high school gymnasium, 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. And just a third thing I think I'd mention, we always get questions of, my line is always the longest. I will tell you, I've been looking at this issue for years and years. We have three incoming lines. At the end, I, I swear, it is a third, a third, and a third. So, if your line is long, the next line will be longer in the next hour or so. So, it's just, it's really interesting. People ask all the time. So, I just thought I'd share that with you. We would still look to see, make sure that we do it a third, a third, and a third, but it does come out that way. So, just in case you're interested, if you're in a long line, the other ones will be long other parts of the day. So, <laughs> Deb, when you say a uh, uh, student workshop, does that mean the students do not have school that day? I believe so. I, I, what I, what I, 
I um, termed that carefully because I'm not sure if the teachers still have to go, but I believe that the students at least have a workshop. I was going to clarify that today, and the offices were closed, so I couldn't. But so I was. So that's why I say student workshop. Okay. Well, so. those of us 